G'day. Uh, today we are following the waterfall way um, just to see all the different things along the beautiful waterfall way. Waterfall way goes from Armadale to Coffs Harbour or Coffs Harbour to Armadale, whichever way you're travelling. Today we're just going to go from Armadale to Dorigo and stop at some of the highlights on the way so you can get an idea of what's to see along this beautiful road, one of the most iconic driving roads in New South Wales. Baker's Creek Falls is a scenic waterfall around 27 kilometres east of Armadale. The location is managed by Armadale Regional Council. While the falls were relatively dry during today's visit, they are usually characterised by their picturesque cascades and lush surroundings. Baker's Creek Falls area provides opportunities for outdoor activities like bushwalking, picnicking, bird watching and photography. Hillgrove is a small town about 34 kilometres east of Armadale. The town was established in the late 19th century during the Gold Rush era. Gold was discovered in the area in the mid-1800s, leading to a rush of prospectors and the establishment of a mining operation. Today, Hillgrove is a quiet town with a really small population. We stopped here for our pre-packed lunch and then we visited the local museum. Priscilla, Queen of Hillgrove. The Hillgrove Museum occupies the old Hillgrove School Building. It contains a collection of photographs and memorabilia designed to give the visitor a unique insight into everyday life in Old Hillgrove. It is open Friday through to Monday and on public holidays from 10am. While there's no mining industry any longer here, the town's history and natural surroundings attract tourism and historical interests. Visitors can explore the remnants of the old mining operations and the landscape of the New England region. There are lots of opportunities like hiking and bird watching. So we're just stopping off at Wallamombi Falls to check out the waterfall. I don't, we don't think there's going to be much uh, water in the waterfall. There hasn't been much rain. It's really dry at the moment. Mm. And nearby there's a campground you can stop at. It's got large campsites where you could fit your caravan or your RV or a big tent or a little tent. It's got basic facilities of a long drop toilet. Firewood is supplied. You can't chop firewood. It's a national park, but there is firewood supplied for paying campers. Let's go check out this view. Wollamombi Falls is a stunning waterfall in the Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. It's one of the tallest waterfalls in Australia and is renowned for its picturesque beauty and natural surroundings. The falls are formed by the Wollamombi River as it cascades over the Wollamombi Gorge, creating a breathtaking drop of approximately 220 metres. There are lots of different walking trails around the Wollamombi Falls and you can see the falls from different perspectives. Wollamombi Village is a small village approximately four kilometres from the Wollamombi Falls. There is a playground and picnic area as well as free camping available. The small store offers takeaway food including burgers, hot chips and drinks. We didn't stop at the New England National Park today as we visited the trout hatchery in episode 9 earlier this year. 
The trout hatchery offers tours and fish feeding. While the National Park has some great bush walks, stunning views from Point Lookout and beautiful rainforest creeks and waterfalls. So we finally made it to the end of the destination. Beautiful place called Dorigo. We're gonna put the drone up. Beautiful green hills around here. It's just so lush still, even though it's very, very dry. On the way through, we did stop at Ebor Falls, but the whole place is under redevelopment. So it'll be fantastic when it's repaired. Um, they're still fixing up the, from the fires a couple of years ago. So we couldn't actually stop at Ebor Falls, but when it is repaired, we'll be going back there for sure. The Dorigo Plateau is a highland region located 127 kilometres east of Armidale. It is situated on the eastern edge of the Great Dividing Range. The plateau is known for its stunning natural beauty, lush rainforests and diverse ecosystems. The Dorigo Plateau is a popular destination for nature enthusiasts, hikers, and those looking to explore a diverse range of ecosystems in the area. It offers a glimpse into the rich biodiversity and natural beauty of the Australian landscape. Danka Falls is a beautiful waterfall located near the town of Dorigo. The falls are situated along the Bealsdown River and offers stunning views of the surrounding rainforest and landscape. That platform provides an excellent vantage point to capture the amazing scenery and enjoy the sound of the cascading water. Dengar Falls is a great spot for photography, picnics and enjoying the natural beauty. We patted a purebred dingo here, owned by a local lady. This dingo was so friendly and so soft to touch, really thick hair. She loved the attention everyone was giving her. Dorigo is a township characterised by its charming atmosphere and a population that primarily engages in activities related to agriculture, tourism and forestry. The town serves as a gateway to the Dorigo National Park.
Dorigo National Park is a protected area located in the New England region of New South Wales. It's part of the Gondwana Rainforest of Australia World Heritage Area. The park is known for its diverse and well-preserved rainforest ecosystems. It has so many varieties of plants and animals, some of which are considered rare or threatened. One of the highlights of the park is the Skywalk, a platform that extends out over this rainforest canopy. It provides visitors with panoramic views of the lush landscape and is a popular spot for taking photographs. Okay, so that's the end of the road for today. We've come from Armadale to Dorigo on the Waterfall Way. We hope you enjoyed seeing some of the sites that you too could see if you come this way from Armadale to Dorigo or Dorigo to Armadale. It's a great road. There's more to go um, through Bellingen to Coffs Harbour, but this is where we're stopping today. The sun's starting to go down. It's the end of the day. We really took our time. It's normally just a two hour drive if you just shoot on through. But it is worth stopping and spending the whole day and getting to see some of the things that are along the way. We don't know where we're going next, but we know we want to spend those minutes with mates. See ya.